Hey everybody, it's Jim of Anime Educated. Today we are going to show you how to draw a flower sack and make a hop and repeat that hop so it looks like that the flower sack is like leaping up and down like uh, as it goes through, uh, just using a cycle. So let's take a look and see how that's done. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my um, color card and I just go to here to color card. So here we go. I haven't really drawn anything yet. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can see the actual frames there a little bit better. All right. I'm going to add another layer, drawing layer, and this time I'm going to call it bitmap. So I'm finding bitmaps a little easier for me to draw with. So I'm going to say call this my rough, and I'm going to say flower sack, just as sack. That's all I'm going to say. There we go, rough sack. Put an in between little thing there. I'm gonna add and close. So I have one here. This could be my cleanup drawing if I want. It's a vector. So I'm gonna hide that for now. And uh, but I'm gonna go use this one. So basically, when you think of a um, a flower sack, um, you just think of a shape. So think of like you've got a heavy bunch of flour or rice or whatever, and then you got this other shape up here. It's a little bit lighter. And so if you connect the lines like that, you've got kind of like this flour sack. You can put these little tassels here. Um, you can put the tassels down like there. And then later on, what you'll do is you'll go back. Once you do that cleanup, you'll take out all this information. And, uh, you know, it'll look like that. Okay, but for now, let's just go ahead and rough this stuff in. Don't draw it like this. Right? I know, that's an eight. But think of it, the shapes. Like you've got a big bunch of something here. And you got another something there. And that's it. And then when you connect these later on... You can connect it and kind of like, this is like your kind of inside with the, how the bag is constructed, you see. You could do something like that, you see. All right, so let me get out of this. And first off, I'm just going to make what's called a uh, horizon line. Because I just don't want him bouncing in a bunch of white space. I want some sort of horizon line. So I'm going to go back and make another one here, I'm going to call this horizon line, horizon line, there we go, horizon line, and uh, it can be vector, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in by going up to my, uh, my rectangle, and just clicking on that so I get a nice line drawing, and I'm just going to make it, start it off here, oh it's in blue, so let's go ahead and make that We'll make that a vector line right here since it is vector line and we'll just go like this okay we'll just go across i'm sh i'm holding the uh, shift key and i'm letting go and i'm going farther i'm going farther beyond my camera because you want to always do that because you might want to go back and maybe you want to pull the camera out a little bit you know make it you know a little farther out if it's right on the line of your camera then you're gonna have to go back and change it anyway so always Always put a little bit farther out. It's okay to do that. All right, so basically I'm just gonna get it kind of in the, like one third of the frame. So I'm just gonna put it, it's like in the distance kind of, you know? So my flower set can go in here somewhere. Get a little higher, there we go. All right, so there's that one. So we have that horizon line. Remember, if you wanna make it, make more frames of it, you just have to push this uh, shift key so if you want to make the extend this there's two ways you can right click and go to exposure extend exposure and you can type in uh, 60 like that and then it makes 60 frames of that that uh, horizon line now I'm gonna lock the horizon line because uh, and then I'm gonna actually move it downwards down here. So now if I touch that, see I can't really touch the horizon line or change it or anything. I want to leave it alone. So now I'm going to go my rough 
And now I'm going to start figuring out that um, that bouncing ball kind of thing. So basically what you're going to be doing is um, you're going to be taking a, using this as a bouncing ball. Basically your ball is going to start off on the ground like this. Let's get the right color, shall we? All right, so you're going to have your ball or your bag like this, and then it's going to leap up into the air and they go, you know, go about here maybe, you know, and then it's just going to come back down and kind of land and we're going to make a cycle. So it's going to, it's going to be normal sack. It's going to anticipate into that getting ready to jump pose. Then it's going to go up and it's going to go all the way up and then it's going to come right back down and we're going to repeat it over and over again. All right. I'm just going to rough this in. So he's going to be basically this. This is him. It's my sack right here. Okay. And we'll just have him kind of like that. That's his normal, going to be his normal pose. And you notice it makes one keyframe of that. And now I'm going to kind of, let me see, move this screen a little bit down a little bit so you can see. See, it's going to go up. Now I don't want to go way up there, but I want to go somewhere up here right it's a heavy sack so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure this out I'm gonna use my onion skin turn that on pull that over here you can see a ghost image of that of that bag so now I'm just going to make a kind of pose of my bag I'm trying to get the same kind of shape on that so here he's gonna be kind of up in the air like this and uh, yeah, so his uh, his uh, things are kind of out like that. Maybe his things are kind of out like that. Something like this, right? Okay, and you can compare the two. You can grab this one and pull it down to see if you're, you know, it's not getting too fat or too small. If it is, just go ahead and you can bring it up a little bit more if you like. Basically, he's just gonna be bouncing up and down up and down up and down so we're going to get them about here we don't want to cut them off of our camera so we'll be about like here have enough space in between there so that's pretty good all right so now we're kind of gonna we're gonna we're gonna show you just how to anticipate this so he's gonna start off here and he's going to do what's called anticipation so he's going to get ready it's just like when someone jumps up in the air if you're standing and you're going to jump in the air you don't just you just don't le levitate up in the air you have to anticipate that jump so in this case he's kind of looking straight at us so we're going to kind of push him out a little bit more this way a little bit he's still on the ground but his he's going to be pushing down like that and then his this one here is going to kind of going down a little bit like that now if you want to you can always do it like kind of a side view so he could be kind of like this and then he could be kind of a side view like he's you see him like this and then you could get those those uh, little tassels to feel like he's he's got his arms going back up so his arms could be you know down like this like that and then he could go from from this one here to this one here so one two so that would be his anticipation and again you would make him a little bit lower and pull those arms out a little bit more like that because you want him to look like he's going down he's moving somewhere right okay let's get rid of all this stuff so you get that in your head all right so so we'll do this. We'll have him going down. So we're going to have him kind of moving those little things around like that. Maybe we'll have him. You can curve them if you want. You know, I don't know. Something like that. But basically, he doesn't really move too much here. And when you look at it, he's going to be moving back and forth. So here's his anticipation. Kind of like it looks like this. Right? So he's getting ready to jump. So he's going down and then he's going to go up like that. So right now there's a lot in through here. So we have to add one more drawing. So he's going to go here to here 
And we're not going to go right back to this. So if he was a person, right now he's, he's kind of doing this. Right? And now he's going to be leaping up in the air. So his arms are going up and he's, he's kind of leaping off like that. So that would be one and that would be two. So that's the anticipation right there. Right, we sometimes call it antics. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, so he can't go between too far up here. So, but he does have to kind of change shape. So he's heavy. So this is going to pull down a little bit. It can change shape, and he can his ball ball there can kind of be a little bit more. It's going up. His tassels can be coming down like this, maybe. Again, you can you can play around with this. Um, actually, I'm going to do the reverses. I'm going to just try to get him so it looks like he's going up. So here you just concentrate on trying to get the thing to feel like it's going up. So that's what's going to happen. He's going to go down. He's going to go up. And then he's going to go into this pose here. So, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and make his his tassels kind of going up like this. They're going up like, like they would be for the arms. And then his little tassels there, turn on onion skin. We can, we can bring his tassels down like this. So it feels like that. Okay. So now it feels like boom, 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 and he's up in the air. So these are like my key poses here. So this would be a key pose. And I can call this sack one. And he's going to anticipate down like this. Um, so I might have to make him, we'll change the numbers here. So let's see if we can just do maybe, maybe do two in-betweens. Now this might be a lot, but let's see. So I'm doing this on two frames per drawing. So I'm doing on twos. So this is five, three, five. And then so this one here, the down pose, that's my anticipation right and that is on seven which sounds like a lot so there's seven so we'll go ahead and call this number seven and we want our audience to see that you know he's getting ready to go off and now he's going to boom he's going to leap up now you do notice that this would be the first drawing that I would in between and then once I have this one then I would take this one and seven I I'd, I'd get number five because my character is moving down and he's slowing down as he goes down right so that's my anticipation he's going down so there's a lot there I might even make that even more um, and this is if you have uh, using um, uh, uh, bitmap you can use the cutter tool because if you just use the color cutter tool uh, you don't use the cutter tool it will just highlight everything but here I'm cutting out that one little section so I've added this a little bit more so I've got some drawings that I can use to put in here so that'll be number seven and then he's gonna pop up very quickly so maybe we'll arrange this a little bit more um, so let's show you what that looks like. So this would be number seven, and he's going to pop up fast. So he's going to go right in the middle there, and maybe we'll put another in between there. So now number nine is going to be really high up. It's like, boom, he shoots up, and he's going fast, and he's starting to slow down. So like on number 13 right here, which will be this one, that's when he's kind of leaping out like that. So let's call this number 13 and then we'll figure out how we're going to get number 13 back down to the ground like that so we got to kind of figure this out so we got this one going down and then he leaps up very quickly so that would be that would be seven so this would be number nine let's call this number nine and then we're going to make another in between between this one and this one so let's to make a, a, an extra one here you can just push shift hold down the shift key and push plus 
it adds another one there so this is just two frames of the same drawing and now I'm going to make subtract that so now I can pull my um, I gotta move this there we go I'm moving my um, that little indicator for my onion skin over so I can now I can just concentrate on these two drawings here and red is uh, the past and green is the future just like in real life so okay so anyway now I'm going to kind of figure out it's basically a ball the balls going up here and so somewhere in the middle here that balls they're gonna be kind of linking or linking rings kind of thing so we'll put them like that and then we'll have the rest of his his body kind of in here like this so it's kind of like it's going up like that and you can flip back and forth if you want to sometimes you got to turn off your onion skin flipping back and forth you can use the key uh, M and between M and the question mark key there's the two little uh, brack keys that are kind of like arrows and you can click back and forth to see how it will go and you can get an idea of how it's gonna move upwards like that so this will be uh, this will be nine and so this would be 11 and then this would be 13. So I'll go ahead and put these, label these so you can tell what's what. So here he's going up, up, and he's like that. Okay, so he does come up like that. So we might even make another in between, between this one and this one. And we can do that because we have, we have that ability to add another in between. So we could put another in between between 11 13 and call that 12 so right now I'm just gonna get it up to where I think it's gonna go I'll do that other stuff later okay but that's what I'm just showing you right now so he's gonna go down in seven I'm gonna pop up very quickly fast up here kind of do that and then he's going to start to come back down so instead of doing the same kind of take that same drawing and just paste it there Let's make a totally different one and let's figure out where how he's going to land so that's kind of like how he looks there so let's do this we can do this you can copy you can take your cutter tool and you can go here control c and then when he's up here and he's here somewhere over here we're going to paste him we're pasting him in the thing so that's the same drawing as that one at the beginning okay so we're going to use that as a guide but we're going to change this one now the thing about this you got to be careful if this one is a copy of the same thing if i do this you see it's not the same it's the same drawing but it's a different version so i can put that if for some reason I copied my cop, uh, my frame in here and I pasted it here then that's going to be the same exact thing so if I change that drawing on this one it's going to change the beginning one so be careful of that that will happen so let's get rid of that X and now we're going to play around with this this is where he's coming down and he's landing on the ground okay so instead of having his feet right there we'll just use that as guide we're going to put his feet kind of up Kind of like that this other one like this right and um and we're gonna make those tassels kind of going up because they're following the main action here okay so we can delete it that we can erase this one and this one and what we're going to do is we're going to have them there but we're going to have them go up a little higher so that's where he's going to hit but we're going to make them go up a little higher so we'll take our cutting tool and we'll just using the keyboard on the uh, arrow keys we can make them go up a little bit a little bit as we go up like that there we go because we do want a little space between where he lands so he can land so it feels like he's landing on the ground and not just sitting on the ground okay so here he is got that and uh let's see so he's gonna be up like that he's gonna come down like that okay good so 
Remember, that's where he's going to... We want him to hook up there. So... Yeah, we could have him maybe go like that. He can hit. Yeah. Boom? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe we'll get him a little higher. Anyway, we're going to have to just in between something between this one and this one. Okay, so we got to figure out how we're going to call this. So maybe we can call um, this one, since it's going down, we can call that one the midpoint there, and then we'll have another one there. So this will be 15. This will be 17. So we'll call this one 17. And then we'll have it kind of hook up to this one. So he's going to land and he's going to leap up. He's going to land. So from here, he's going to land and he's leaping up. So, okay, so that's what we'll do. And so we'll call this one here. This will be called 19, right? And that'll be kind of this one here, which will be one. So let's get even more confusing. Let's call this one. That's called a hookup. This is hook, you're hooking this up. So actually, this is the one that's hooking up. So it's going down fast and it's gonna hit here. And then it will repeat. So he'll be here, he'll go like this, he'll leap up, he'll go all the way up like that, he'll start to come down, and then he'll land and he'll go back down like this. So maybe we might have to adjust this. So, okay, so let's just get an in-between drawing between this one and this one, all right? And again, this is, drawing animation is where you really have to get skilled at keeping your um, drawings on model and the same size, stuff like that. So here, he's going down. So let's go ahead and we'll make kind of like the ball somewhere in here. And the other ball will be, you know, somewhere like this. And we're going to make him, we can elongate that ball, you know, like it's going down. It's heavy. It's pulling itself down. So those tassels are going up like that. And then it's, it's going down. So these tassels are going to be going kind of like this, you know, somewhere in there. All right. So that one is 15. So you know what? We can, we can have this go down a little bit, not so fast. Let's see, so that's 13, that's 15, that's 17. So let's go ahead and put this in to kind of where we think it might be. All right, so this is gonna be seven. Here, I'll turn off my onion skin so you can see it better. All right, so basically we have one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of that, right? So we have all these other drawings we haven't done yet. So now we're going to just do what's called a pose test. They're not there yet. Those drawings aren't there, but they will be there. So let's go ahead and put these in. So we're saying that this is uh, one and two. It's three and four. This is five and six. Okay, and then it's going to pop to seven. Seven has nine. We have nine. So let's go ahead and put two frames of that. So we have seven and eight. Boink. We have, oops, we have seven and eight. Wait, it's not letting me do that for some reason. We have seven and eight. There we go. Right, two frames there. And then we got nine and we have 11. So those two have to be there. So another way of doing this is just Highlighting them both. Whoops, let's highlight both of them. Right click, and you can go to here, exposure. You can go to twos, and it pushes them. So there's two frames of that. There's two frames of that. And then we have this one is 13. This one is, what do we say, 15? So go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And so we'll put that too. We have two, four, six. So we can do this too. We can grab those two. We can go to uh, exposure. And this is where you gotta watch out. You gotta do there. Exposure set to twos. Doink. 
moves it over. So there's 15, there's 17, and then it's going to connect back to this one. So if we take this one here, this is our last frame, which is 18, we can, instead of going to stop at 60, we can type in 18 and then say enter and it brings that little black thing there so it's going to only show you that much when I play through it that's what it shows you so it's a little stiff right now it feels kind of stiff so he's he's coming down he hits and then that's when he's going to anticipate down again and kind of come up so we might have to add a couple more drawings because we want it to feel like he's kind of floating up in the air but his sack part of him the heavy stuff is starting to fall down faster than the stuff that's up in the air so we might have to make another in between between this one and this one okay so let's go ahead and in between this now but this is our poses our main poses right and we can put a loop here so we can see how it feels right so this is called a pose test and this is what you want to kind of get used to drawing like before you you don't want to just sit and do the whole thing in one go because it takes a lot of time and a lot of thinking and sometimes you want to just get to a certain point and then go away from it and think about it for a while and then come back and see it with fresh eyes you know okay so let's go ahead and do this let's make our in-betweens okay so there it is halfway about halfway okay now remember the the bottom of the bag really doesn't do much it's just sitting there waiting to move outwards right so you could copy this you can just kind of copy this or you want to just redraw it you can the main thing is those tassels are going to do something so you can kind of pull the tassels you know kind of make it feel like the tassels are going down a little bit in there mainly these tassels aren't really doing anything you can do what's called a trace back you can just trace over it try not to make them move around too much but basically this is it now you've got this now you got that now you got that and you can see how it feels like he's going down right and he's getting fatter there all right so now i'm going to put my fifth drawing in there so and now this is the important one this is where we're getting really kind of in between those those balls you're making another ball like this and then that fat ball is going to start to go out so if the lines are are in between you want to have those lines in between see there's one there one there you're trying to get in between those lines now sometimes what you can do is you can zoom in a little bit better on that now you can see where his his arms are here so let's try to curve his arms a little bit more like they're going to go into this curving you know we're curving around like that maybe that's good enough and again you can turn this off and you can click between and see kind of what i did here so i forgot my foot whoops better do that and i want to make sure that foot stays there so i really want to i mean you can copy and paste this if you like or you can just redraw it but you don't want it to wiggle around all right so there's that one two frames in number one uh, this is three this is five and this is seven okay so I can flip through it to see if that feels like he's going down and this is where I really want it to feel like he's 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 kind of out here so a number seven let's go ahead and we'll just exaggerate this okay we'll just kind of get this out like that let's play around this is where you're kind of figuring this out and this is okay because he's moving into this thing he's moving into this kind of situation so you it's okay to kind of get that one figured out you know and then you would go back and just fix the others all right so now let's do this one let's go ahead and make this one a little bit more 
get some more meat on that side of them and we'll put some little kind of drop more that way see so now we got even more we can just kind of erase this stuff there there and it's curling he's like going down yeah see that's feeling pretty good and we'll hold there and this is where you could hold them for two two more frames if you wanted to let the audience see that kind of situation and then he leaps up so here it might be a little too quick i don't know and no, it still feels like he's going up might be a little quick he is heavy remember he's made of it takes him a little time to get up so let's do this let's do this let's make this one we're going to add another keyframe there so now you have three of these we're going to take this one and now we're going to make an in-between and now we're going to say okay see so now it feels like like he's going up he's rising up he's leaping up now it's not like he's suddenly he's here and he's there but he he's he's going up fast but it's pulling his weight his weight's pulling him a little bit more okay and again if you get stuff some lines like this throw you off so you can always erase them you know just work towards seeing the shape see so i'll we'll just move this out of the way maybe like that so now it feels a little bit more like it's got a shape it's like this bag that's going up in the air and now you see we're missing some stuff here so here's 15 and look how fast that's going back down so we want to add something to this so let's go ahead and make another let's go ahead and make another one in here we'll call that 14. see we can do that because we really want to make it feel like this guy flies up and then it takes him a little bit more time his butt starts to go down fast but the upper part of him is still pretty happy up there so let's try that we can watch it okay so as i watch this go back and forth now i'm just looking for things that look a little odd and right now i see that it feels like right up here his little tassel feels like he's waving kind of woo -hoo. wave 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 like he's trying to fly with that and that, i think it's probably right here that's what it's going out like that and then it pops this way and it's very quick there it is so you can see how it feels like it just goes down then it goes up then it comes down so maybe we need to do this like it's if it's going up like that it goes hooray you know out like that what we need to do is just continue this one having it go down maybe like that and now it won't be as noticeable see he kind of goes up and then when he starts to come down he goes down like that so let's see that's better it doesn't i don't see it waving at me anymore but this is pretty fun i mean this really feels like he's hopping you know and sometimes, I mean, there's two frame, two frame, two frame down, and this is held for three frames. You could hold it for four frames. Let's see if that works. There, now it's four frame. Could be six frames. Now it feels, yeah, that might be it. Okay. I have to watch out. Every time I move this, I have to move this whole thing. I'm going to put three more frames here so it'll hold for six frames on the ground let's just see what that looks like see it feels like there's more it's more work yeah 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 so that's interesting see this is one of those things where you have to test it my original idea was just to have him hopping up and down and then I'm starting to play around with this and going, wait a minute, if I held this for six frames and then have them going up. Now, going up 
quickly like that for one frame and he's here I, mean, I don't want to get him too I don't want to get him like going up the same rate throughout because then it looks like a you know very boring but if things move faster every once in a while that works really nice so there you have it that's how you animate a flower sack very rough drawings that you would build upon later and you then you clean it up at the last possible second to make it look really nice um so yeah hope you enjoyed that and uh, we're looking for more subscribers. We're at a 9.15 right now. So if you can want to subscribe, you can press that button right there. If you enjoyed this episode. And you can also scroll down through the uh, channel to see what other ep uh, episodes we have. Here's a couple here that you can check out. And we'll see you next time on Animated Educated.